hello. Um, this is a comparative video between two brands of um, watercolour pigments. Um, I've used these in my work um, the past years, uh, sparingly I have to say, and uh, not every colour. The brand that I used thus far is Ami Flash Pigment and um, I found that at um, uh, calligraphers and bookbinder stores but recently I was pointed out uh, by one of my students that there is now Colorcraft Brusho and um, the thing is with the flesh pigments um, they work differently uh, and I wanted to try them out both um, what they do is pretty much the same. Um, I will show you in a minute that when you wet the page and you sprinkle a little bit of the powder on it, or the granulate in this case, it will dissolve in the water and it will start flowing like fireworks explode in the sky. Um, the way they do it is different though and also the composition of the powder and the granulate is different and um, I don't think one is better or worse than the other but they are different and when you are going to decide on the, the set that you will buy or the colors you will buy um, this review is going to help you make a choice right what I did is um, I ordered the brush out pack of 24 colors but I only chose the colors that correspond best with my own um, uh, me colors. I'm reviewing yellow, red, magenta, blue, uh, green, red, brown, and black. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so that you can, and I'm going to push these back a little bit so that there is no shading on my paper or as little as possible. <laughs> it's time that I get some light here, some professional light. Anyways, um, I'm using a clean brush every time um, to um, pick up clean water and I'm simply going to lay down a fair bit of water in the square the designated square and the way both pigments work is you simply sprinkle some onto your page and I'm not doing that by hand I'm opening the container and I'm dipping in the tip of my brush like so I hope you can see that there is actually some powder on the tip of my brush and I'm dropping it onto the paper and that's it and this is what it looks like looks like flour um, colored flour um, I always thought that um, pigments like these were um, were dyes and not pigments but the brush o leaflet says that it is a highly pigmented watercolor crystal and I can't find anything else about it but I then about the Ami I found exactly the same so apparently it's not dyes but crystal uh, sorry pigments and I thought it would be the same as um, the fluid watercolor inks that you can buy like Ecolina but apparently it's not. Okay, now I'm trying the um, Ami and I'm using a different brush for it so that I'm not spilling and it looks really different. The granulate is much more coarse and I immediately noticed something else. Um, this granulate is much more coarse and it doesn't, not everything does uh, dissolves which is one of the uh, problems I had in using it um, but also when you look at this 
you can clearly see that there is a yellow undertone but that there is also orange in it and that is what I found with um, the brush out colors that I tried before that it is not if it really is pigment it's not singular pigment every color is composed of more or every color I tried thus far is composed of more than one color and I'm not sure I like that because even though it can have a really pretty effect for people who are making um, you know postcards and doing craft projects with it when you're painting you want to work with certain pigments and certain colors so then you don't want to have too much um, effect in it or rather I don't okay so this is the red I'm trying to pick up little because I want to the pa the the power of, um the coloring power of this <laughs> sorry the coloring power of the of the powder is enormous as you can see um I'm taking a clean brush again to brush this off the paper because I don't want any contamination. Um, this seems to be a single color though, the red, the brilliant red. But what you can also see here is a little speck of red. The brush -o is so fine and the, the powder is so light that um, I found that when I distribute it over my paper it will travel a long way so that's different than the Ami, which is heavier, heavier granulate. So it basically falls straight down onto the paper. I am wetting the paper extra for this red because I have some experience with the Ami, and I found that it doesn't. Um, it doesn't dissolve very well. Well, it does now <laughs> because I, I wetted the paper really well. And I love the effect of the um, of the Ami here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the texture, but if you are, it's sort, it's almost marbling. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the crimson. Oops. There is contamination here. I was already... That's what happens with the... Um, um, with the Colorcraft brush -o. The powder is so fine that it you won't even see it on your paper. And then it will still be there and affect the rest of your painting. Right, I chose crimson as... Um, as the equivalent for magenta and it isn't, not really but I don't know if you guys can see this I'll zoom in a bit um, I don't know if you guys can see that but it's called crimson but in fact it seems to be red with some blue specks in it so it's a sort of tone. It's it's sort of a toned down version of the brilliant red, um, and I'm not sure. I like the fact that um, some of these containers, some of these colours, contain more than one pigment. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just have to find um, a way to work with this, but. I used the Ami flash pigments in backgrounds quite a bit and sometimes in clothes and okay moving on to the magenta and as you can see that one uh, the color doesn't disperse as easily Slowly but surely. Mm 
Now we move on to the ultramarine. And I'm trying to tap the colors off close to the paper or else it will blow all over my page and again if you look closely you can see that there is dark black dark blue but there is also a cyan color of blue mixed in between so again we have a double um, double pigment in one color and also again a little bit of the colour travelled onto the rest of my paper. I find that annoying, <laughs> although in a project it probably wouldn't be it wouldn't be too horrible in a project. But I find it annoying when it happens making while well, making the colour chart because I don't want. I would rather have not have contaminated areas. So moving on to the bl uh, me blue, and you only need very little of this. Um, there is a video online of the uh, me powder. Um, I don't know who made that video, but it looks like a company video. And the person in the video who uses it actually pours the powder straight from the pot, which is, it seems insane to me because that would give way too much um, granulate on your paper right moving on to the leaf green now and I've already used this yesterday so I already know that this powder contains two colors as well not just one and with leaf green you would expect a light green but rather what I get is yellow with a couple of specks of green so um, the product in itself is not bad but you know this is not what I expect and um, I don't think that it becomes a very convincing leaf green in that sense Ami has uh, the Ami flesh pigments come in a very limited um, color palette. I think I have them all. I have seven. Maybe there is a there is a few more, but I'm not sure. Um, but what I find is that you don't need many colors because usually you're just looking for an, you use it as an accent. Um, some people they paint entire pages with it, but. To me, it seems that this is an effect paint, or it's not even a paint. Um, and I use it sparingly. So that the effect um, is, is most clear. So that's the green. And when you look closely, the green here is very much the same as the green specks in the leaf green although I really don't see how this spot here can be considered leaf green when I look at my camera uh, on the screen of my camera it looks a bit more green but when I um, look at my paper it's just really golden yellow so moving on to dark brown and this is a color that I use a lot. I use the red brown a lot and I will show you in a minute. It's a gorgeous color to use and also it um, it disperses really really well in water. Oops. Well this is a problem as you noticed some of the uh, pigment fell off my brush um, um, and it fell even before I was 
above the area I wanted to provide with colour and that is because the powder is so thin that when you move your brush you will get a little wind and the wind will simply just um, blow it right off. So now I have a fairly big contaminated area and as you can see the dark brown here is a combination of dark brown, yellow and well uh, a neon kind of orange. So. It really makes me wonder why um, Colorcraft, I think the company is called, decided on these multiple pigments and why they choose to give it a, a name that implies a single color. I mean, if they had called this fireworks um, yellow brown or brown yellow, then I would have understood as, as a customer I would have understood I was buying something with multiple colors in it but now I'm not and again this may not be a problem but when you use when you use this to do proper painting job you want to know about the colors you're buying well this is the Ami red brown that I use a lot and it's a beautiful rust color It looks like a quinacridone color. I'm not sure, I don't think it is. I'm not sure, but. I really don't even like what's happening here because I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Um, what I see happening here in, in, in the area that's supposed to be dark brown is there is dark brown, there is orange, there is red, there is yellow. So in this color this powder contains um, many more colors than just a dark brown and what happens here is where it all comes together it sort of gives a muddy feel to it it's just as if the colors don't really go together very well um, this sort of becomes like a slate of marble or something and it's not bad in itself but um, It's not really what I expect when I open this little pot and use it to um, to make a part of my surface dark brown. Okay, moving on to the black. If I remember correctly, the black was not a singular, a single color either. But let's see if I remember correctly. In the powder, the black looks really, really, no. So this, my dear people, and I'm sh I'll show you I'm not lying, this is said to be black. And what I'm actually seeing is dark brown, orange, and a deep turquoise kind of blue. So that doesn't look black to me. Um, and I find that annoying. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that this product is useless because it can be fun, but if you buy it, it will be a wise idea to first make a color chart so that you know, a color chart like me, so you know what you're getting. So after I have finished this um, comparison, I'm going to make a color chart and now I'll show you the Ami really is black and together with the dark the red brown it's my most used color because as you can see um, this is this makes a beautiful addition to um, any texture you would like in a painting so I'm zooming out for you to be able to see them all. And um, there is pros and cons for, for each brand. Um, what I like about the Brusher Color Craft is that the powder is so fine that it dissolves really, really well on paper. 
I mean, that's an absolute bravo. Because um, as you can see, the Ami flush pigments, um, they remain a little, um, there is still a little granulation. I can't do it yet because it's not fully dry. But once it's dry, you can actually rub it off and you can feel as if it's dry, as if it's salt that you have sprinkled over it um, to reach a certain effect. So granulation wise, I prefer the brush O. But looking at color, um, I absolutely prefer the Ami because it for a few reasons. In the first place, they're all single colors. So when you sprinkle yellow onto a pa onto your paint, it will be yellow. So let's let's assume that you have made no yeah. Let's assume you painted a blue butterfly and you want to sprinkle, you want to create um, a greenish effect. You can sprinkle a little bit of the yellow onto the blue and it will start mixing into a green. But when you do that with the brush o yellow, it also contains uh, red. So you will not get just get spots of green, but you'll also get spots of purple and of brown. Because when the red uh, mixes with the yellow and the blue, you will get a certain kind of brown or even grey. So chances are that when you mix these colours into your paint on paper, you will get mud. Um, and I don't like that. It's I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, um also another thing i want to point out and that is a case of preference is that um the ami flesh pigments because the granulation is much more coarse you can see sort of um granulation effects in your paint whereas where all the um brush o dissolves um, the color is much more even becomes much more like fluid watercolors so this is my comparison so far and now I'm moving on to making a color chart of all the brush o colors. Thank you for watching. Bye.